Hey guys, thanks for following us on social media. It's time for another episode of 10 Questions. Would the stock internals of an LT4 hold up with a Magnuson TVS 2650 supercharger? The internals of the LT4 are essentially the same as the LT5, which we recently pushed to almost 1500 horsepower. So we have a lot of confidence in the LT4 when adding the TVS 2650 supercharger. If you want to see what we did with the twin turbo LT5, check out the link below. What are your thoughts on using drop-in rods and pistons on LT1s? What do you recommend for boosted applications? Now since you use the word drop-in, I'm assuming you mean basically in the car or with just ball honing the engine. It, it has been done, but we prefer to do a complete disassembly, wash, balance, blueprint, and assembly uh, if we're going to be changing the connecting rods and the pistons. We would also do a hone. For higher horsepower boosted LT1s, we would use a Cali's Dragon Slayer crank, Cali's Ultra rods, and Mala or Diamond pistons. If you're interested in building a 416 LT built for boost, give us a call or email. How much horsepower will I gain by CNC porting a set of 862 heads? We get asked this question a lot, how much power you'll make just by CNC porting heads. It's not a simple answer. Um, it really depends on the combination, your camshaft, your supporting modifications, and how much airflow is going through the engine. If the heads are the last thing you do and it's what's restricting the engine, you're going to see a lot more gains than if you were to just CNC port heads on a stock engine and not have the supporting modifications to process that air through the engine. So there's no right answer to this. There's no uh, simple answer. Um, we recommend looking at our flow charts to see how the cylinder heads flow. Flow data for our cylinder heads is posted on the product page of our website, but here's the data for the 862. You can compare the baseline to the CNC porting and the additional services such as the valve job, hand blending, and otherwise. What events will you be attending this summer? This Saturday we'll be at Cars and Coffee M1 Concourse, June 8th, um, displaying some of our new products and some vehicles, so make sure to check us out on the skid pad. After that, June 29th and 30th, I'll be competing at Gridlife Autobahn um, doing the time attack in my C7 Z06. Later, the speed ring in September, but we will be competing in the time attack at the speed ring. If you're in the area, make sure to check us out. Cars and Coffee at M1 Concourse is in Pontiac, Michigan. Gridlife Autobahn is in Joliet, Illinois. And the speed ring is also at M1 Concourse in Pontiac, Michigan. We'll put more information about those events in the description below. Do your ported LS3 throttle bodies have any horsepower gains? Our ported production throttle bodies such as the LS3, LS7, LT1, LT4, L86 typically pick up about 5 to 8 horsepower, but what customers are really raving about is the throttle response. Uh, especially on the LTs, everybody really loves uh, the increased throttle response, which is a common issue on the LT engines. For more information about these throttle bodies, check out the links below. What's involved with the porting services for cylinder heads? We offer CNC porting for almost all LS and LT Gen 3, 4, and 5 engines. It can be an a la carte program or a bundle, so you can purchase just the CNC porting of the intake and exhaust runners if you want, or you can add on other services to maximize airflow such as a valve job, hand blending, and sometimes some chamber porting. We also offer bronze valve guides in some applications or can replace stock valve guides in other LS applications. To simplify, we also offer these services as bundles and offer a little extra savings when you buy all together. So look for the bundles in the link below for combined services. So the process is simple. You just remove your cylinder heads, place your order online, print out your order confirmation and send it in with the heads. If you're purchasing a bundle or disassembly and wash services, you just need to make sure that they're free of most of their oil and ship them in. If you're disassembling and washing yourself, make sure that the cylinder heads are completely washed and ready to go to CNC. Can the 427 package for the 6th Gen Camaro be boosted or would there be stress issues on the engine? Yes, it can be boosted. We've made almost 1,000 horsepower with one so far using a Magnuson TBS 2300 supercharger. The compression ratio is lower than the naturally aspirated version. We also recommend using our billet main caps. Do you build airboat engines? Yes, we can build airboat engines using LS or LT packages. Some common requests are for supercharged applications, and we've been talking about doing more LT4s and LT5s. We'll put a link below to a video showing some of the work we did on a US Coast Guard airboat. Do you tune ZL1 LSA cars, and what would that cost? We have many 
complete vehicle packages for the Camaro ZL1 and Cadillac CTS-V with the LSA engine. We sell our complete and proven vehicle packages, which includes tuning, but we don't tune vehicles that we have not built. For our Camaro ZL1 and CTS-V packages, check out our website below. Does your 103 millimeter throttle body work with my Whipple on a Camaro ZL1? Yes, Whipple provides an adapter to run the factory throttle body on LT engine packages. To run a 103 millimeter throttle body, you simply remove this adapter. At that point, it's a bolt-on and there is no interference. Thanks for watching this episode of 10 Questions. If you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're gonna have a lot coming out really soon. We've been working really hard over the winter with a big race car project and a lot of new products. Those products are gonna be released in our newsletter. You can sign up for that at ktechengines.com slash about. We'll put the link to the newsletter below so you can stay tuned to all these new products coming out.